You know, every day is a day in history. What happened on this day in history? Well, today marks two uh, significant uh, events that revolve around the sporting world in our nation's history. Uh, one of them is kind of dubious and infamous. One of them, sadly, is the only joy a certain city has ever had when it comes to football. So I'll give you that one first. Is that fair? Mm -hmm. 53 years ago today, 53 years ago today, the New York Jets won their only Super Bowl, Super Bowl III. That is 53 <laughs> years ago. They have not been back since. 53 years. Almost impossible to not get back a single time, even if they lost. The Vikings went four times, they lost. The Bills have been there four times, they lost. Everybody's been there, except for lousy franchises like the Jaguars and the Texans. We have not been back in 53 years. Think about what's taken place since we last went to the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. When we went to the Super Bowl, man had not landed on the moon yet. Fact. We've now landed on the moon, and we've been to Mars <laughs> since the New York Jets <laughs> last went to or won a okay. Super Bowl. Uh -huh. And to show you the garbage staff that they dealt me here at this beautiful network, the lead producer today is mocking me by wearing a Joe Namath jersey. Oh. You're fired. <laughs> 53 years without a Super Bowl appearance, let alone a Super Bowl win, Greg Jennings. And I see you smiling. I went to a Super Bowl. Yes, I won a Super Bowl. <laughs> I had two Super Bowl touchdown catches. They're in my house. I didn't Good. say it. Screw you, too. I didn't say anything. You're thinking it. I can tell what's on your mind. What's Guess but, what? But, but, what? Since you, but since you, you said it. You think it's funny. I'll tell you what's is. funny. The Jets beat the Packers this year. Ha! Oh, and everybody's watching the wild card games together. Yes, so and we all. Matter. Matter of fact, Zach Wilson's coming over to my house to watch it this weekend. We're barbecuing. You guys are welcome to join. Oh, nice. Ah. Yeah, uh, it's a story for another day. He only eats chicken, though. I don't know why, but that's his thing. Interesting. Uh, the other event that took place today, and this is, again, going to be uh, uh, an age-specific thing, because I don't know how, how, what are you, you're 25 I'm, now? I'm 35. Yeah, so interesting. You may not even be aware of this. What's up? Today was day one of the O.J. Simpson trial. Really? How about that? And I definitely you, remember I'm that. Like, I was in Los Angeles. Angeles. Trust me, yeah, I remember how, that. You I was only like, like nine, eight, years, eight old, right? years old, but it was the talk of the yeah, world. Yeah, today was the first day the opening uh, argument statements, whatever they call it, uh, started today. Oh, amazing. That yeah, and I, I remember, as many of you do, uh, the, the chase and all that yeah, stuff. I remember it. Yeah. Yes, because uh, I was getting a lap dance. I mean, I, I, uh, <laughs> I was watching the Knicks and the Rockets, of course, play in the NBA Finals while getting a lap dance uh -huh. uh, in my apartment in Philadelphia. And uh, it, the girls were like, don't you guys want lap dances? We're like, no, OJ's uh, driving 15 miles per hour trying to get away from the police. <laughs> right. And I'm saying to myself, boy, when I drive that slow, I get pulled over. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, so th those are the two events that happened today in history. Could you imagine, by the way, on January 12th, there being a Super Bowl? It's like, crazy. we still have a full month yeah. to go. One month from today yeah. will be Super Bowl 90, as you know. And, like, I couldn't imagine that this Sunday <laughs> is the Super Bowl, yeah. right? We haven't even yeah. started the playoffs. Yeah, it's crazy. It's nuts. And all we got to do now is push you back one more week. One more week so that none of us have to go to work on the Monday after for President's Day. Mm -hmm. Of course, we would be working because, you know, we like to talk Super Bowl with you the day after. It's our biggest day of the year. Right. So, uh, I'm just again, I'm so excited for playoff football. You know, a lot of people think, you know, opening day baseball is the greatest day of the year. Yeah, I mean, if you love baseball, I, I respect that I get it. All the bunting is out, and, you know, the grass is green, and it's like, whoa, spring is around the corner. Not for me, though. Playoff football, the first weekend of playoff football is the greatest time of the year. I'm giddy. I don't sleep at all. I'm all pumped up, and I spend most of my time trying to figure out how I can concoct a legitimate, sellable idea that would uh, allow me to come on this uh, uh, TV show and say that the Eagles are not going to win a Super Bowl. And I spend most of my time trying to come up with plausible, uh, defendable reasons why Eagle fans are going to be upset.
Yeah, I'm not there yet, though. <laughs> I, I've been thinking about it for two weeks, and I've, yet, I've not yet gotten to the place that I need to be, which is the Eagles are going down. However, if the New York Giants do what I think they might do and be the one upset winner of wild card weekend, and it's not a big spread. What's it, Troy? Three, two and a half, whatever it is, right? Yeah. It's three? Yep. So it's three, it's three it's, which basically in gambling terms means it's straight because uh, the home team is usually D to three points. Uh, if you're going to gamble, have a plan. Stick to your plan, as you know. Uh, the Giants would play the Eagles in the second round. And remember what happened last week. The third-string New York Giants gave the first-string Philadelphia Eagles all they could handle and more. That being said, let's stick to this week right now. We'll get to my gloating on Monday. Here's the deal, all right? Are you with me? that if there is going to be an upset in week one, here are your choices. Are the Chargers favored on the road against Jacksonville? I was ask that too. They are. That's so good. can the Jaguars beat the Chargers? Would that be your choice? Are you going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Uh, are they favored or is Dallas favored? Dallas is favored. Dallas is favored in that. So do you want the Buccaneers? Do you want the Jaguars? Do you want the Giants? Do you want the Dolphins? Uh, or do you want, who am I missing? Seahawks. Or do you want the Seahawks over San Francisco? I'm going with the New York Giants for a couple of reasons. One, the offensive line of the Vikings is a train wreck right now. The Giants are getting healthy on defense. Thibodeau has become a stud, and they have Ojolari back, who's probably their best pass rusher anyway. Then you add the stud returner, uh, Xavier McKinney, at safety, and Adoree Jackson most likely playing in this game as well. All of a sudden, that Giants defense, when you add up Dexter Lawrence, who had a Pro Bowl year for them, Kirk Cousins is in trouble. He's in lots of trouble considering the fact his offensive line is banged up. So somebody said to him, yo, Kirk, are you worried about your offensive line? Like, if you're going into the wild card weekend of the playoffs – and on Wednesday before the game, you don't know who your starting offensive line is. Problem that is trouble city. It really is. I, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't be mad or shocked if the Giants yeah. went into the U.S. Bank and won. I, I believe that that is a legitimate. I think that the more I'm going to convince myself the Giants are going to win easily. How about that? Mm-hmm. I'm not there yet. That's tomorrow's show. But I'm feeling like that offensive line's a train wreck. This dude has no problem throwing interceptions. Dalvin Cook uh, did not have a great year running the football. They're a one-dimensional team with Justin Jefferson, as good as he is, and he can win a game by himself. I'm now, look at me, I'm starting to get myself all revved up for Giants-Eagles week two. We'll see. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I think the Giants, if there was a game that they could get, it's this one. For sure. Yeah. With them having played them, all the reasons you just laid out, I think the Giants – I wouldn't say they're, they're, they're better coached, but given their situation, they have been coached better. Uh, All right, I'm going to let me. This, I'm on the Giants. My pick. Your pick is the Jaguars. Jaguars. I know it. I know it. Wow. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.